Last week, we got one last piece of the puzzle concerning Picard, and that's the crew of the Titan, complete with name, rank, and species. And yes, we now finally have Stashwick's character name as well. It's all coming together and only a matter of hours until the premiere begins. You know we are all going to want to talk about it. So, good thing a virtual convention is scheduled to begin on the 16th. Just perfect to connect with the other fans and dissect each and every moment. Plus, there will be stars, producers, writers, pretty much anyone who's anyone involved with the creation of our favorite spacefaring adventure. Hi, and welcome back to Katie's Corner in Space and Volume 10 of the Star Trek Void, where I try to fill that annoying gap between new episodes of the many iterations of Star Trek. Usually, I stick to shows not currently airing, but lately, that includes everything. Tomorrow, that ends with a brand spanking new season of Picard, but we still have some time to fill, so here we go. If you've been dying to find out what the TNG crew has been up to, then look no further than the Star Trek logs found on Instagram. There you can find out not just about the main characters of TNG, but lore, as well as Rafi, Seven, and some of the ships expected to appear in the third season. So it's very much worth checking out and following, because those logs really added to Prodigy as Janeway documented her search for the missing protostar, so I can only imagine what could appear for Star Trek Picard. Speaking of Prodigy, wonderful news for those who enjoyed the amazing first season because Prodigy is due for its second season to begin airing in 2023, which I'm sure many of you know means we are once again getting five brand new spanking seasons of Trek in one year. Now we just need more information on Section 31, and personally, I'll be one happy admiral. Connor Trenier and Dominic Keating did a reading of their Enterprise Season 1 episode, Shuttle Pod 1, on their show, The Shuttle Pod Show, on YouTube. And it was everything I hoped and more. Having only just begun my own Star Trek chronological rewatch to prepare for the Vegas convention this year, I just watched the episode a few days ago, and seeing the actors read through was hilarious and such a treat. Of course, not everyone from Enterprise was available, but the fill-in actors were amazing to see and played their parts well. I'm sure you'll recognize them all. One of the highlights is Nana Visitor filling in as to Paul, and her dream sequence read with Dominic curried giggles and chortles as Stinky attempts to get his groove on with his imagination's version of the Vulcan commander. Vulcans can never ignore courage. She lays her hand gently on his. And this Vulcan will never ignore Lieutenant Malcolm Reed again. The jokes landed, one shots and minor tirades both, and it was funny to see how Keating came prepared with an appropriate prop. Another thing select Trek actors have in common with another fandom I enjoy. So if you're looking to kill an hour-ish, then check out the reading. And there's a recap available as well on Patreon. But you can also fill the hours with their lengthy channel video collection. A link to the reading is in the sources below. In other actor news, Anthony Rapp's Without You is going strong and his Discovery family came and enjoyed the show themselves last weekend. Anthony couldn't help but thank them for the support via Twitter. Now I did have this other section to include about Terry Metalis and yet another set of quotes about how Picard is going to be honoring the past while looking forward to the future of Trek. But honestly, at this point, I doubt there's anything revealing you haven't already heard. And we really just want that premiere. That's just the truth, so give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Head on over and check out some of these videos, and I will see you there.